Hello, YouTube. This is your girl, Carmen Kaboom. Broadcasting live from the Boom Boom Room. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and I got some shit to get off of my chest. I am so pissed off right now. But they say it's better to be pissed off than be pissed on. You know what I mean? I have a big problem with other people trying to dictate my terms and conditions and coming on my page, on my social media page, trying to tell me how I should talk, how I should feel, what I should say, and so on and so forth. I refuse to conform to the status quo just because that's popular and that's what everybody else is doing, especially when it comes to someone who I view as lost, dazed, and confused. When you are lost, a lost, fatherless, calm dumpster, your voice and your opinion is pretty much null and void as far as I'm concerned. I will not take the words of a calm dumpster seriously. I will not take the words or the advice or the recommendations or the suggestions of a lost fatherless crack baby into consideration. I just will not do it. Now, this past week, as a lot of you may know, this Quantasia um, Sharpton, who accused Usher of being her former lover and exposing her to the herpes. She has been fat shamed and rightfully so. And a lot of fat motherfuckers came to her <laughs> aid, if you will. And so many of these fat bitches, they feel like they ought to be loved too. And they ought to be having the right to be sexy, too. And they want to be in a position to be sexy, of all things. And it is so offensive and so appalling to me. And as a fat woman myself, I feel like I am very qualified to speak on this topic. Being obese and being built like a brick is two totally different things. Being big or plus size and being obese and wide and nasty looking is two totally different things. It is very offensive when... A female in particular comes out in public. It's one thing to do this in your shower or in your bedroom behind closed doors. But when you come out in public as a fat motherfucker, I just feel like you ought to consider other people's stomachs, gag reflexes, eyeballs, and such. And you ought to dress appropriately and accordingly. Nobody wants to see your varicose veins, your jiggling belly, your bouncing booty, ripples and folds of fat and just big, great, greasy, and nasty looking. That is not appealing. And so many of these fat motherfuckers are under the spirit of delusion and confusion and they really feel like everybody ought to accept them as they are. And a whole lot of their supporters, the supporters of these fat motherfuckers, they are very selective in who they fat shame. Now, as a lot of you have already seen, and you can bear witness to this, a lot of these motherfuckers, they don't have a problem with coming to my channel and calling me a fat bitch. Calling me a fat this. Oh, you fat this. Oh, you fat that. Every day, every day, every day. But they want to give Quantasia 
Sharpton and a lot of these other selective, select fat motherfuckers a pass. They give Precious, aka Gabrielle Citibay, a pass. And they love to say, oh, they're so confident. They're so beautiful. Ain't nothing fat about a fat, ain't nothing beautiful about a fat motherfucker. You're fat. Fat, fat, fat. And a lot of it is nasty looking. What is so beautiful about a fat motherfucker? And if you look nasty as a fat person with your clothes on, I can only imagine what you look like with your clothes off. I can testify when I'm naked, I look fucking nasty. And most guys do not find it appealing, but a lot of guys will fuck a fat motherfucker. I bear witness. I get a lot of dick when I want to. <laughs> I have gotten a lot of dick. As a fat motherfucker, I have even gotten my pussy eaten as a fat girl. A lot of guys don't have any standards. That's why the confidence factor is so high. But that's an illusion in these fat motherfuckers. That's why they're so confident because they can get dick regardless. A lot of these guys don't have any standards. And they won't climb them in public. But they will fuck them behind closed doors. And a lot of these guys are homeless. Like that motherfucker up there that's laying up with that stupid bitch. And they're using these fat motherfuckers for shelter, for food, and for sex. And good credit. And to co-sign them a vehicle and so on and so forth. And to do their applications online because they dumb as fuck. And the list goes on and on and on. But as I was saying, there is a difference between being obese and being built like a brick. And you need to know as a fat motherfucker which category you fit in and dress accordingly and act accordingly. Don't be out here in these streets offending people as a fat motherfucker. You need to know your place. Fat motherfuckers, they used to know their place. I know my place as a fat girl. But these new breed of fat motherfuckers, they just, oh, they don't know their place. And they want to have a skinny girl or a thick girl complex. And I wish these fat motherfuckers would quit telling that lie that they're thick. You're fat, you're a fat bitch. And... If you cannot see your feet when you're standing up, you are a fat motherfucker. If you cannot see your vagina, ver, not the, vagina, because <laughs> when you're fat, it's a vagina. When you're skinny or in shape, physically fit, you have a vagina. But when you're fat, you got a vagina. If you cannot see your vagina, when you are standing up, you might be a fat motherfucker. And it's, it's, it is something wrong with being a fat motherfucker. It is a hazard to your health. And I see a lot of people, just like a lot of y'all stupid motherfuckers that came to my Instagram. And you're, you was just praising all these fat motherfuckers that I had condemned. And you were chastising me and telling me how I ought to act, how I ought to talk, and how shame I should be. Never mind the fat motherfucker that's coming out half naked and offending me and inducing vomiting. Never mind that. A lot of y'all are so lost and you're so stupid and you don't have any standards and you, and you don't want to judge. You don't want to judge and then you want to tell me what the Bible says when it's convenient for you. And you haven't even read the whole Bible. You just read the parts that you like and that fit your agenda. And then you want to come to my page and tell me, oh, you're a Christian and, and God said this. God, God says don't suck dick, but you're doing it anyway. God says don't live at, at, with the same sex, but you're doing it anyway. <laughs> 
Don't tell, don't you dare tell me what God says when you're not doing everything that God says yourself. Don't turn on my page telling me nothing about what God says when you being obedient yourself and got dick on your breath. I wish I would listen at a disobedient, rebellious heathen. I wish I would. But moving right along, let's talk about Quintasia. Let's talk about Quintasia. Lord have mercy. The name is ghetto as fuck. Ghetto as fuck. And then she had the nerve to go and get Lisa Bloom as her lawyer. She retained Lisa Bloom. And I don't think she's going to have any success. And I don't know why Lisa would go and get this girl. And the way it looks, she probably doesn't have any type of evidence to back up these accusations against Usher. And I, I I am very confident that Usher, and a lot of people feel the same way, that Usher never penetrated that big brummer bull looking girl. How would he get his dick between the hole? How would he get between the thighs? How? How? And even from the back, how? How? How would he penetrate that big motherfucking cow? How? And then even if he got her on her knees and tried to hit her from the back, she would be out of wind before he even got started. Look at this big motherfucker. And she's so fucking big. Her thighs is big. Her back is big. Her arms is big. Her stomach is big. Her throat is big. Her, ooh, everything is big, big, big on this big motherfucker. And she, 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 she really, ooh, she made herself look so bad on TV. And she opened the door to get humiliated and ridiculed and embarrassed as fuck. She did it to herself. And that opened the door to all of these relentless memes. And I have been enjoying the memes. They have been hilarious. And <laughs> she's a big motherfucker. And it's really insulting. It's really humorous that she would say <laughs> that Usher, of all people, and everybody knows what his type most likely is. <laughs> everybody knows that Usher did not penetrate that girl. And I don't even think he got his penis sucked by. And let's face it, most fat girls, that's, that's what a lot of these guys are using these fat motherfuckers for. Oral sex. They cannot get between they fat motherfucking thighs to fuck them. And, <laughs> ooh, I, let me tell you something. I've been with a lot of guys as a fat girl. And them motherfuckers, it's a lot of work on them guys. It's a lot of work and I be feeling so sorry for them. And they just be sweating and trying their best. They be trying their best to keep up and 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 <laughs> it's a job it's a job it is a job fucking a fat ass girl and man can you imagine the smell on that girl now i gotta be honest as a fat woman i have to really work hard at keeping myself under control as far as good hygiene and can you imagine, and that girl look like she at least a good extra 100 pounds more than me. She looked like she was a good extra 100 pounds more. And I can just imagine what the, in between her breasts smell like. And did you see them motherfucking breasts? That was almost on the ground. How could Usher lift up all five of her stomachs to get to her vagina? And then she had stretched that motherfucking blouse beyond recognition. My God, my God. She should not have worn that blouse. I'm so mad at her for wearing that blouse. She needs to wear Islamic clothes. She needs on a black burqa. Oh, you know the burqas that cover everything up and, and it has layers and layers and layers and you can't really tell what the body looks like, the form of the body. That's what she needs to wear, even if she's not a Muslim. She needs to wear burqas all of the time. Or a bed sheet or a wide curtain. She don't need to wear no form-fitting clothes. Ugh. Ugh, just looks so motherfucking nasty. Oh, 
gosh darn. Look like she swallowed a whole stove right before the press conference. And she just looked big, fucking nasty, and sweaty, and unhealthy, and gross. And the rolls, and the lumps, and the bumps, and the layers of fat, and the varicose veins. And then, she want to make excuses for herself why she's so fucking fat. And I seen pictures of her before. She said she just had a baby, and the baby just turned one years old. Hell, she was a fat motherfucker before she got pregnant. And now she's saying that she's a vegan. A fat motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, my God. And did y'all see her Instagram live video when she was eating that so-called vegan jello? Fat motherfucker. Just eating, 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 eating. She ought not do that to herself. Just embarrassing herself. And she don't. She seemed like she kind of slow in the head, kind of special needs, uh, mildly retarded, maybe 1%. She don't even have the mind to know that she, she, she oh, she embarrassing the shit out of herself. And she want attention like a whole lot of these whores. She want attention so bad, so bad, so bad, big motherfucker. And I just don't, I just don't understand why this big Brahma bull will not go sit down looking like a big Brahma bull. And, woo, she's so motherfucking big. And did you see uh, the attorney, Lisa Bloom, the way she looked at her? She was, she was secretly disgusted herself. She really was. She was really disgusted. I could see on Lisa's face, she was really disgusted. And I bet she talked about that big motherfucker behind her back when she got through that press conference with her friends and family members. You know she did. And once again, being obese and being built like a brick is two different things. You need to know your place and which category you fit in as a fat girl. And, man, oh, man, I just could not believe a lot of these people on my Instagram and, and uh, these other pages, they just making excuses for it at their discretion. Oh, she's so confident. Oh, she's so beautiful. And they saying this about these other fat motherfuckers, too. They say this because they feel sorry for them. They, they're not saying this because it's the truth. They feel sorry for these fat motherfuckers. Just like they say the same thing about and give a pass to these ugly ass babies and ugly motherfuckers. They feel sorry for them. So they say, oh, they so beautiful. Oh, they so confident. A trash can is beautiful too. A trash truck is beautiful too. A trash truck is confident too. A whale is confident too. <sighs> it's just, it, it's just a mess. There's so many people out here telling these motherfucking lies and don't know how to be honest. And you're not doing these fat motherfuckers no favors by lying to them. You are promoting unhealthy lifestyles. And if they die, you're not going to feel bad about it. You're just going to go to the next subject and start all over again. L lying to that other person. Ooh, it's just disgusting the level of, of, of dishonesty out here in these streets amongst these people. And Usher, he has denied ever having sex with her. This girl, Quintasia Sharpton. And I believe that's the truth. He says that is not his taste of woman. And many people have accused her of being a habitual liar. And I saw on one of the blogs last night that some woman that is has identified herself as Quantasia Sharpton's mother, who gave her up for an adoption when she was a young, young girl. She, she testified and gave a statement saying that she's been a liar, a habitual, allegedly, been a habitual liar for quite some time. And Quintasia gave a rebuttal. And she was saying that her mother has uh, always been uh, lying on her and, and blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah. So I want to blame the mother because a lot of people have come forward and said that she has made similar accusations against other celebrities. I don't even know how she's getting close to the celebrities. I don't even know how she is wobbling her big ass wherever 
to meet these celebrities. But anyway, she's gaining some access some kind of way instead of um, wobbling over to Jenny Craig. She keep on trying to gain some type of fame or notoriety at the expense of some of these celebrities. And she's not even taking into consideration she does not have the look. She's not even qualified. And, you know, that's just the standard of today's uh, female, big and small. They don't even take into consideration that they're not even qualified. Come as you are. Because the Don't Judge campaign has opened the door for these type of people to set critical thinking to the side and just come as they are and be so confident in themselves even though they're not qualified. And man, man, oh man, this girl is just so fucking huge and wide and gigantic. And she got, <laughs> did y'all see them wide ass thighs? She got wide thighs. She got a wide stomach. She got a wide back. I think I've said this, but it's, it's, it's worth saying again because she's so motherfucking big and them wide linebacker uh, uh, arms and backs and stomachs and that wide face. She just looks horrible to me. And I don't know if losing weight and putting on some makeup would help her and putting on a wig and doing something with her hair. I don't even know. But I'm just looking at her for how she is right now. She's just wide and way too wide. She's just a big, wide motherfucker. And man, you know, today's fat females, most of them, they just want to be loved and included. And they want a sense of belonging so bad. And instead of getting healthier, they develop, like I said, a delusional state of mind. And this is, in my opinion, a form of mental illness, I suspect. And they just want to be sexy anyway. Even though they look a hot motherfucking mess and look so nasty and gross and just grossing so many people out. Never mind how nasty and yuck and gross they look. They just want to be sexy anyway. Whether we want them to be or not. And it's a way that they can dress to make themselves look appealing. And depending on how big they are and how attractive their face is, they can be their own brand of sexy to a certain degree. But don't get carried away. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm fat. And I know I look nasty naked. So why... I just don't understand. There's a disconnect, obviously. Why are so many of these fat females in such a state of delusion? I know why. Because a lot of you all have lied to them and told them they were everything that they're not. You're not telling them the truth and you're not doing them any favors. You're not doing these fat motherfuckers any favors. And I think a fat female in particular... We should be conscious of how we dress. We have to dress. We have to be very careful to dress in such a way that complements our bigger bodies. And do not offend the viewers, the people around us. And like I said, if you can't see your feet, you might be a fat motherfucker. And if you can't see your vagina, you might be a fat motherfucker. And if your legs are scrubbing, your thighs, your inner thighs are scrubbing, you might be a fat motherfucker. And it's not appealing in my opinion. It's, it's really not appealing. And there was another girl I've been seeing for the last week or two on Instagram. Y'all probably have seen her too. I don't know her name. I don't really care to know her name. But she's real big and wide. And light skinned. And she got a short blonde. Real light blonde hairstyle. And so many people. I posted her on my Instagram. And so many people. Was 
chastising me because I told the truth. I said she looks nasty. She was in a swimsuit. And, and I, I get so tired of these fat motherfuckers putting on swimsuits without a cover-up. They say a cover-up for a reason. And a lot of these fat motherfuckers, they just put on a swimsuit and just go on out in the water looking like a big-ass whale. A human-sized whale. And just offending the whales. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can imagine... And so many people, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's so confident. And this and that. And they was chastising and condemning me because I said she looked gross. And I kind of figure, after so long, <coughs> excuse me, after so long, I kind of figured it out. You know, a lot of people, especially a lot of these stupid ass females, they give a lot of these Fat females a pass if they're light skinned and almost white. It, no matter what they do, they can't do no wrong in their sight. If they almost white, they're all right. So I kind of felt like maybe a lot of these people that came on my page, they were taken up for this girl because she was almost white. So she's all right. She gets a pass. And I said, now if this same girl was dark skinned, and had on a long black wig. I can almost imagine uh, these same people that were giving her a pass and praising her probably would not say the same thing. And it's just amazing how fucked up a lot of people are when it comes to things like this. And they promote unhealthy. They promote unsightly. And... A lot of people in this day and time, they're calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. We're living in the last days. And I never thought in a million years that fat motherfuckers would be the standard. These fat females would be the standard. And they would be given so much praise and propped up as a new phenomenal woman. A lot of these trash females and anything vile and disgusting... This is what these demons, these fallen angels on the earth are promoting nowadays. I noticed that. Anything that's vile and unsightly and disgusting, they promote that as a standard. I will not conform. I will not. And I won't apologize for that either. And I want to say, if you follow and subscribe to my social media page, you get what you get. I will not accommodate you, just because you, uh, you know, you feel a certain way, do not come to my page and project your, your insecurities onto me. I will not accommodate you and your sensitivities. And if you're offended, go, stay on your page or go somewhere where they don't judge. I'm judging on my page and I do not apologize for that. And I will not change just, just like a lot of you all. You know, you won't change for me, so why the fuck should I change for you? I won't do it. I will not do it. As long as that my name is at the top of my page, I reserve the right to, to express myself and give my opinion and commentary as I please, just like you do on your own page. And I want y'all to stop. Those of you that are coming to my page trying to dictate my terms and conditions, please stop because I am a grown woman. I don't come on your page telling you how nasty and disgusting you look in your profile pictures. So don't come on my page trying to direct and program me because that's, 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 that's null and void. That's all in vain. Your efforts to do uh, in that regard is all in vain. Ugh. And I want these fat motherfuckers to just cover up. Stop offending people. Ugh. I'll let you girl. Let me know what you think about it. Peace.